Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody left me a message on one of my videos on how to do this right here. I'm thinking this is what they're asking to put a, like a stitch pattern of holes into a star, almost like you'd sew up a pillow. And this is kind of easily done. I've, I've made a video almost like this, but not exactly, so I thought I'd make another video. On some items, uh, it, it's a little difficult, and you'll see in just a second, I've got a star that I've drawn that's basically a perfect star because I held down the control button. I, I drew me two circles. I'm going to select both those circles. Let me put them a little closer. Let's zoom in here. I'm going to select both the circles. And I'm going to go up to Effects, and I'm going to go to Blend. And you need something divisible by 10. Because there's five sides and double-sided, so there's 10. And we want about six five in the middle and one on the end. So I'm going to pick the number 60 and I'm going to hit apply and that what that does that blends 60 circles together. Go right down here and click on new path and put it on your new path. Now go back up here and, and you could have probably done this before but I get used to doing it this way. Blend along full path, put apply. Now here's the problem. The top one is pretty close to the center, but these other ones are not. But this is pretty easily done. Let's click on our path and go right here on split. Click on that particular one and move it to the corner. Now it rotated the other ones. As you can see, now there's a little bit of difference between here and here. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one just needs to get moved to here. So let's do that again. Let's click on our path, split, click on that one, and move it to there. And now they're all correct. Now I can just see that I think there's a double one right here. So let's move it out of the way. And sure enough, there's a double. So what you need to do to go to object and uh, ungroup the whole thing, select it all, object, break the 23 groups apart, go up and ungroup all objects. And the reason I could see it is just it seems like it's a little bit darker because it put another node there when it was rolling around. It wouldn't really matter. So now you're, you're done. But to get it like this, and that's why I made the video, our star is a separate entity now. We'll get rid of the blend tool, and we will open up the contour tool, and we're going to contour to the outside a half of an inch. Go up to object, break contour apart, and delete our original contour. Now you have stars inside, kind of like a stitch pattern, if you were going to do a pillow and put two together. And or I don't really know what he's doing, but that would be the way I would do it and probably the easiest way to do it. So I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.